We're in a new chapter, chapter two about numbers to 1,000. Lesson 2.1, we're gonna group tens as hundreds. We can group tens as hundreds by counting out tens and grouping them together. We can count how many groups of tens we have to know how many hundreds there are. Here we have 10 tens, it's equal to 100. We can circle dots to make groups of tens. We can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 dots in this column. We can circle them. We've circled one group of 10. And we can circle more groups of 10. We can count how many groups of 10 we made. We made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten tens. Ten tens is the same as one hundred. We can take these ten tens and squeeze them together. and they make 100. Here, we need to write how many tens there are. We need to fill in the space for the number of tens. We can count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, now we need to circle groups of 10 tens. Well, here's one group of 10 tens, and here's another group of 10 tens. 10 tens is 100. So how many hundreds do we have? We have 100, we have two hundreds. We need to write the number we need to write two hundreds as a number. We write a two and a zero and another zero for two hundred. Here we have 50 tens. How many hundreds are 50 tens? Well, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's 10 tens. So we have 10 tens, 20 tens, 30 tens, 40 tens, 50 tens, and each 10 tens is a 100. So we have one, two, three, four, five hundreds. We can write five hundreds as a number. We write a five and a zero and a zero. We have a five in the hundreds place, zero in the tens place, and zero in the ones place. Each group of 10 tens is 100. We have five of them. We have 500. We need to be very careful when counting the groups of tens. We make sure to count the correct amount. 10 ones is equal to 110. And 10 tens is equal to 100. Each place value contains one digit. When we have more than nine, we regroup to the next greater place value because 10 has two digits. If we have nine ones, we write a nine in the ones place. If we have 10 ones, we write a one in the tens place and a zero in the ones place. When we have nine tens, we write a nine in the tens place. When we have 10 tens, we put a one into the hundreds place and a zero in the tens place, and we have a zero in the ones place. And we can see a pattern, 10 tens is equal to 100. We have 10 tens 
it's equal to 100. 20 tens is equal to two hundreds. Here we have 20 tens and it's equal to two hundreds. We have a two in the hundreds place. 30 tens is equal to three hundreds. We have 30 tens. We have a three in the hundreds place. And 40 tens is equal to four hundreds. We have 40 tens and we have a four in the hundreds place. When we use more than one digit for a place value, it's called combining place values. So we've combined place values and said 10 tens instead of 100, but they are equal to each other. Now let's try some higher order thinking skills. Sarah has 300 beads to make bracelets. She puts 10 beads on each bracelet. How many bracelets can Sarah make? So we think, how many tens are in three hundreds? And we can draw a quick picture to help us. We can draw a 10 as a line and each line is a bracelet with 10 beads. She's putting 10 beads on each bracelet so we could say each one of these lines is a 10, but it's also a bracelet. And we can count 10 tens and 10 tens and 10 tens. We have 100, 200, 300. That's 30 tens. We have 10 tens plus 10 tens plus 10 tens. That equals 30 tens. That means Sarah can make 30 bracelets. Because she's putting 10 beads on each bracelet, and we count each one of these lines as a bracelet, we can count how many lines we made. We made 30 lines as 30 tens. That's 30 bracelets. Dave reads 10 pages each day. He finishes his book in 20 days. How many pages are in Dave's book? And we think we can draw a quick picture of 20 tens. 20 days, 10 each day, we can make a line for the 10 pages he read each day. We draw 20 lines, that's 20 tens. 10 tens is 100, so we have 100, 200, that's 200. How many pages are in Dave's book, do you know? If you said 200, you're right. For our drawing, each line is 10 pages he read in one day. We have 20 lines for the 20 days. That makes 100, 200. Dave's book contains 200 pages. Our next lesson is 2.2, and we're going to explore three-digit numbers. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm really proud of you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.